Hey guys, how you going? I've got another one for you. Epic fail. AOC praises God for pouring rain in New York City before Trump's massive Bronx rally. God responds by stopping the rain. <laughs> After Trump took stage in the Bronx, thousands of supporters were still lined up awaiting entry in the overflow crowd with clear skies. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AOC, the unqualified low-IQ congresswoman from New York, got slapped down by none other than God on Thursday after apparently doing a rain dance ahead of Trump's Bronx rally. As the Gateway Pundit reported, thousands of voters turned out in the Bronx despite fears of violence from the Democrats, who had a minimal presence at the rally despite 15 or more politicians and groups trying to disrupt the rally with their weak protest. Before Trump's speech and during, supporters were lined up around the block waiting, awaiting entry to the maxed out rally and thousands had to watch and listen to Trump's speech in the overflow crowd. There was also a presence of GOP congressional candidate Tina Fort, 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 hey? Fort? I don't know, supporters with a banner that read fireaoc.com. Um, she is running against AOC in the general election for New York. She's a very important person, so I really should be able to say her name. Oh my God, Father, what's wrong with me? Um, I, I'd read that as Ford. Anyway, okay. Someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. She's running against AOC in the general election for New York's 14th Congressional District. That's her name, okay? Look, read this. F-O-R-T-E. Tina Ford. Ford previously pointed out AOC's weak turnout and event at an event in the Bronx, which looked like a socially distanced Joe Biden rally. Tina Fort for Congress says AOC is having a town hall right now in the Bronx. Barely any supporters have shown up to hear from her. Most of the people in the room support me, not her. There you go. Can we, should we have a look and a listen? Okay, let's have, let's go. Hang on one sec, guys. Okay. So I'm looking out for you. So there's two things. First, federally. Um, wow. Marijuana yeah, that that's um quite a turnout there. Okay. Hundreds of thousands also tuned in online to the Gateway Pundit and Right Side Broadcasting Network for live coverage of Trump's historic rally. In the morning, pouring rain struck the Manhattan area, but that's never stopped Trump from pulling in a massive crowd to one of his rallies. The rain had subsided around 11am, likely making angry leftists like AOC even angrier. Leftist politico Jeff Colton posted a video of this rain at approximately 10am, claiming that Cretona Park, where the historic rally was held, is going to be a muddy mess. However, there was hardly any mud. Colton's post was fake news. God is good, responded AOC on X with a prayer emoji 30 minutes later just before the rain stopped. Cat Turd commented back after the rain had stopped predicting the rally would be huge and slamming AOC, who wouldn't draw 50 people in the Bronx. Here it is, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. God is good. Jeff said uh, Cretona Park is going to be a muddy mess tonight for the Trump rally. Cat Turd said the rain has stopped the turnout will be huge. If you did a rally, you wouldn't draw 50 people. Others flamed AOC and expressed disgust for her rabid anti-Trump prayers. Julia posted this, AOC crying at the Trump rally. Remember she was crying at the gate there uh, I showed you? I think that was on Rumble. I'm not sure if it was on YouTube as well. Anyway, Julia said the Bronx is mega country. Uh, who's this one? Valentina Gomez said, Christ is king, evil will never prevail, go cry me a river now. Uh, <laughs> Candace Owens said, God is good because it's going to rain on Americans. You hate Trump so much, you want people that don't hate him to suffer. Uh, Gunther Eagleman said, Ha, instead of posting, why don't you make your dude a sandwich, pour him a drink and watch a MAGA rally in your front yard. <laughs> good idea. Matt Couch said, imagine someone that is for hang, uh, doing bad things to babies, claiming that God is good over the, rain, over the rain in the Bronx. Oh, my goodness. Alan Jacoby said, how you doing? 
Ayo, so you'd be fuming about now, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Look how many people are there. Well done, guys. Okay, and then Vince, Vince Langman said, God is good, cope harder, snowflake. <laughs> Look how many people there are. Oh, my goodness. Is that the end? That's the end. Hillary Clinton comes up with new excuse for why women abandoned her during the 2016 election. Uh, I know why women abandoned you at the 2016 election. You're just a, a, a not a nice person. Failed Democratic presidential candidate talks to CNN's Christiane Amanpour about deprogramming Trump supporters. <laughs> Twice failed presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton revealed a new reason why women abandoned her during the 2016 election. No, it wasn't the Russians. It wasn't the Macedonian content farmers. It wasn't the deplorables. Hillary Clinton claimed in an interview with the New York Times published on Saturday that women abandoned her because she wasn't perfect. No, no one's perfect. Even Trump's not perfect, right? But when you're a really bad person, people tend to not really like that very much. Clinton whined about then FBI Director James Comey's decision to reopen the investigation into her private server and emails which needs more investigation, I believe. But once Comey did that to me, the people, the voters who left me were women, Clinton said. They left me because they just couldn't take a risk on me because as a woman, I'm supposed to be perfect. No, you're not supposed to be perfect, but you're at least, at the very, very least, you're supposed to be a nice person who wants to do good for the country, not sell it out to someone else. Anyway, they were willing to take a risk on Trump who had a long list of, let's call them flaws, to illustrate his imperfection because he was a man and they could envision a man as president and commander-in-chief. Uh, do I have to say it again? I know we know Trump's got flaws. We do. We know every person on this planet has flaws. There's no perfect person, right? But at least you have to, to get in, you'd probably have to be a pretty good person, you know? At least with the uh, American people, at the front of your mind. Anyway, Hillary said she was shocked that Trump's sex scandals didn't seem to affect him, because half of them are BS. Uh, in contrast, Hillary Clinton was marred by her husband Bill's sex scandals, mainly because she destroyed his victims. See, that's what I mean by being a nice person. Maybe if people, you know, if you didn't do things like this, um, and put down a 12-year-old or 14-year-old. Well, I can't remember. Don't quote me on that one. I'm guessing. Hillary's bimbo eruptions, an attack on her husband's mistress, mistresses, haunted her campaign. Um, yeah, she also said that a 12 or 14-year-old wanted, uh, secretly really wanted to be with older men anyway, uh, in, in actually putting the 12-year, when the 12-year-old was taking the guy who had touched her to court, uh, Hillary stood up for the guy. Yeah, anyway, I'm sure you can look it, look it up. Clinton also claimed if Trump wins the 2024 presidential election, we may never have another election. Of course, this is just project, projection. This election is existential. I mean, if we don't make the right decision in this election in our country, we may never have another actual election. Well, she's right there. Is that what she said? She's right in that, that if you, if you choose the wrong one, oh my God, you won't ever have another election. It'll just be a authoritarian, but not the one she's describing. I agree. This is a projection. I'll put that out there because I believe it, Clinton said, and if we no longer have another actual election, we'll be governed by a small minority of right-wing forces that are well-organized and well-funded and are getting exactly what they want in terms of turning the clock back on women. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway, it's not because you're not perfect, Hillary. Okay, and one more. And also, Hillary should be a good, you know, that you should be a good person. That's why you didn't get in. It's not nothing to do with anything else other than the type of person you are. Former CIA agent pleads guilty to spying for China. Oh, interesting. A former CIA agent pleaded guilty to spying for China for over a decade. Ex-CIA officer and contract linguist for the FBI, Alexander Yuk Ching Ma, 72, pleaded guilty in a Honolulu federal court on Friday 
for providing intelligence officers in China with classified information. A court filing from the DOJ revealed it had amassed a war chest of damning evidence against Ma, exchanging classified information with China's Ministry of State Security, stretching back to 2001. Among the evidence was a video of Ma exchanging classified information for thousands of dollars. Ma also told an undercover FBI agent that he hopes the motherland succeeds. According to NBC News, among the classified information was CIA sources and assets, international operations, secure communication practices, and operational tradecraft. Uh, per NBC News, a former CIA officer and contract linguist for the FBI accused of spying for China for at least a decade pleaded guilty Friday in a federal courtroom in Honolulu. Alexander Yakching Ma, 72, has been in custody since his arrest in August 2020. The Justice Department said in a court filing it amassed a war chest of damning evidence against him, including an hour-long video of Ma and an older relative, also a former CIA officer, providing classified information to intelligence officers with China's Ministry of State Security in 2001. The video shows Ma counting the $50,000 received from the Chinese agents for his service, prosecutors said. During a sting, sting operation, he accepted thousands of dollars in cash in exchange for past espionage activities, and he told an undercover FBI agent posing as a Chinese intelligence officer that he wanted to see the motherland succeed, prosecutors said. As part of a deal with prosecutors, Ma pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to gather or deliver national defence information to a foreign government. Prosecutors also called for Ma to only receive a 10-year sentence, but a judge will have the final say on September 11th during Ma's sentencing hearing. So there you go. Today we've got the FBI and the CIA all up in there. What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, you can let me know what you think of the, of this down below. I'm not going to tell you what I think of it because I'd probably get banned. Anyway, <laughs> much love, guys. Have a good one. Bye.